quick one on VW doors. Now we all know that the um, the piece within the door goes wrong so that we end up with a door that won't unlock. Um, but there's another fault as well, which is if the battery goes low or if you jump start or you bump start, oh sorry, jump start or your, you know, something like that and it gets a, a, a battery fault, um, you can end up with it not opening um, usually the two passenger doors or it's the passenger door, passenger doors and the boot. Um, there's loads of talk about take the um, take the connections off um, off the battery and try and um, you know disable it, try and sort of clear the, the the BCU, the body control, or in this case I call it a, a comfort control module. Try and clear the codes from the comfort control module. Right, I've tried that. It didn't work, um, but I have found a way that it works. Look, hang on. That will hang on open on that side now. So if we do, oh no, it doesn't want to now. So what I did was I started that, started the engine, and what I've done is I've taken the body control module out from under the floor, and while the engine is running, I unplugged it all. there you go that now works weird huh um, so anyway it's obviously a BCU issue by the way this thing seems to work perfectly fine apart from the um, the buttons seems to work perfectly fine without a body control module there we go what the hell's that about doesn't say anything Apart from my brakes and knackered, but we know that anyway. Um, <clears throat> what the hell? Um, it shouldn't really be doing that, I don't think. I mean, the key doesn't work, I'll give you that, but yeah, look. Works. So, by unplugging the body control module, um, it works from the um, thing here. So that's quite useful. At least it means now I can open that door because previously I couldn't open the door to get that to fix anything. I think what I'll probably do is to leave that unlocked because um, as you see, this one is still locked. Can't get into that one. Um, now, there's no movement on that at all, I don't think. I'll try the old trick of giving it a good beating on the outside of the door to see if I can shock the micro switch into working. But yeah, that's a pretty good trick because at least then I don't have to cut a hole in the door to get it open. That, taking the CCM unit off, seems to allow you to do it manually from there. Pretty cool. There you go, guys.